The last time I was talking about the face to face was Wednesday when I came to school. I came out now and see a good Kimanda was a very happy person. She loved anime and taught it. Um, whenever on the Fridays, she would say, Leah, let's go. Because Friday school over, half day. So we went and I introduced her to a restaurant upstairs. And we went there with our classmate, King. And she was so fun. She wanted to be a police. She wanted to be a fort. She loved her siblings. Every time I go, she always said, I'm going to bring back something for them. She, she introduced me to her mother. It was sports day and I was feeling better. And she said, Leah, my mom said she wanted to meet you. I said, keep on now, my feet just hurt me. I'm making I was still walking up and down in Maypen Town until we went there. I couldn't get to even see her mother because my feet were hurting me. King, bring me to the taxi stand. And I texted her and I said, Kimanda, I'm so sorry that I didn't get to meet your mother. And she said, It's okay. The last time I saw her mother was in my friend taxi. And she said, Kimanda, I said, Your friend Mia. And she said, Yes. And they were in the phone. The last time I was on Kimanda face to face was Wednesday when I came to school. And Kimanda was here. Good. <laughs> Kimanda <laughs> was the best friend, nobody likes Kimanda. If I have a problem in a matter, Kimanda may run to. I tell Kimanda to me I get transfer. Kimanda say, I'm going to tell her, no, no, no matter what I chance. Kimanda was transferred, I think it was from Edwin Allen last year, so she started with us in September. But as you can see, she made a huge impact on the students and on the staff as well. I remember her as just the prettiest, sweetest little girl. She was very quiet, very reserved, very shy, but she was a leader. I appointed her monitor of her class when I saw how organized and dedicated she was. And she was a good and excellent student. Um, the day before she died, her math teacher came to the uh, vice principal and he was so excited. He said, uh, Kimanda got a perfect score for math. So he was just so excited and he showed the vice principal. Little did we know she wouldn't live to see that score. You know, and um, we are having our graduation and prize giving tomorrow and uh, she was down to do a scripture and um, she was up to get two prizes uh, for academic achievement and for being most helpful. So she was an outstanding student and uh, it's just heartbreaking to see the potential she had and her future just snuffed out needlessly. We saw the reaction of her best friend. Yes. But can you tell me some of the reaction of her other classmates? The only word I can use for it is devastated. They are all devastated. And you know, boys hardly show emotion. Yesterday they put their handkerchief over their face to hide that they were crying. We've had several students breaking down, falling to the ground in pain. They are in pain. And my heart aches for them. I am Rafaela Smith's teacher. Rafaela is quite a great student. She doesn't give any trouble. Very brilliant. And she takes part in all activities. Uh, remember the other day I spoke to her mom and I told her that I wanted her to graduate. And she was saying, yes, but she is just in the final class. How could she? But because of how brilliant she was, I pushed her and said, I want her to graduate. She went ahead, paid the graduation fee, she took her graduation photograph, and she was on her way over to grade one. And then to hear about my baby, I call her my baby girl, Rafaela has my heart, she was my baby girl. To hear about her death, it took a great toll on me. I cannot come to terms 
with it to know that I will never see my child again. She was just like my last night I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. I heard her calling my name every minute. And this morning I we came and we just looked at the because our favorite color is pink. And I I miss her. Currently we are mourning the passing of two of our students. Two of our best students, Rafaela Smith and Sharadi Smith. Our school is in a state of deep mourning. Yesterday was just absolutely horrifying in terms of the level of grief that we would have seen, you know, coming from our students and our teachers, you know, especially in the very very early stage of receiving the news and then somehow we just had to harness all of that so that we will we would have been able to support the children through their grieving as well and uh, i must say the teachers did a fantastic job of of, of that tell us about them what do you remember about them beautiful absolutely beautiful two beautiful girls Personality, vivacious, full of energy, loving, you know, full of life, and very promising students, very loving students. And so, you know, their peers, they got along well with their peers, they were loved, and that contributed to the kind of loss, to the kind of grief that we're all going through. Because when you consider who, you know, when you consider your relationship, you know, moments, memories, you know, it, it all contributes to the, the depth of the grief. The oldest of the sisters was also a student here before she transitioned into high school. Yes, she was. We can safely say that the family, that these are children that really had the kind of home support you know, that speaks to the, the kind of individuals that they were disciplined on a whole because she would have graduated, you know, um, with excellent, you know, um, um, combinations and, 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 and so on from her teachers, just hearing um, of the kind of student that she was when she left here. And so um, the, the mother, I must also say, is a past student of Beulah, you know, so it, it's, it's, it's a tremendous loss. It's not just the two students, all of them, you know, they are members of our family. And we understand that you was one of the persons who actually assisted in getting that young man arrested yesterday. True, man. Right, so just give us a little bit about what took place. All right, um, yesterday when me, I think of Christian, and when I come out now, I come out and I go on the road and I see the police them right at the gate. I see the police them at the gate, but I hear upon already a road. So the guy you now said, well, I'm, I'm do a murder. And he said, do the murder now. I'm coming to build some run. At this part in Barn Land, the clearing and the act done. So when we come now, I ask the police, I say, in case he said, no. He asked me if he's in there. So I said, yes, me here. He said, in there, about that. And he said, I can't prove it. I said, yes, man, in there, man, from here. He said, in there. All right, and, and look, believe me, I'm going to run out there right now. So when they ask me, you know, I mean, say, all right, you have to go in the bush, you know. And I call down citizen. At the same time, I say, citizen, citizen, come down. I make you hunt down with the police, with the youth. Everybody will laugh and they not come out. But I say, I decide, say, I don't sleep in bed unless that man there get me, the police them capture him. So when we day over here about 7.30, when I'm busy call me and tell me, say, you call him and tell him, say, if he's taking care and came to the police station. So I tell you, say, no, no, can so. So they get a private car. So I decide if he block off the road, let me see the private car coming from the thing, say, a cap, so somebody decide if he come and take him away. But when he call already, say, he want to go to the station. So the youth then say, him care. Sick and he muffled up off and so. So he said, I don't know if he's seen the area. So he decided to buy him happy, get him, make a love, capture him. So 
the guy call the police and call now and have the pan, the phone and hold the phone pan with, with the DC so till he comes straight at the yeah. I remember telling him, saying, there, in there now, in there, and the, the policeman said, you see what I'm saying, did they? say, yes, man, in there, for me, I, I, I'm tough. So, him and the, him and the police talk. So, so, I saw them come in and uh, they capture him. But last night, I didn't sleep. Because I'm glad them, them, when I hear them gone with him, that's the only way I could go sleep. Because all me never say he, he hide somewhere from the hill. There. So, we glad they ain't taking me in, man. Is he a person you know well? He? Yeah, he's like a boy growing here. And, and he, anyway, you see me, he's scam what I'm going on. You know? I am just happy that the police apprehend him. Because those children, they did nothing to deserve such a horrible death. You understand? So, I'm overwhelmed to is know that justice will be served. Uh, is he a person that you know? Yes, a person that I know very well. He's my neighbor. And yes. whatever person you said he, he, he is? To be honest, not the type of person that I was expecting to do this type of act. When I tell her that he has manners, this this youth in call to up to the baby we just born. In call everybody miss, in call everybody auntie, if him pass you ten times for the day, he might go call to you. If him pass you go down and come back up in less than a minute, him still go call to you. That is the type of person that I know him as. We understand that he wasn't living here. Was it a shock to you that he, you just see him in the year yesterday? Yes, I was shocked. Because not even for the Christmas, he did not come to visit even his parents. Right? So, after we get this news, Right? It was shocking to know that him just turned up after that incident happened, knowing that he was living at the same house where it happened. You know, sir, if you tell the truth, um, I want a nice youth still now, but just sometimes he, he, he just look a bit too angry at my time. Just look a bit too angry at my time. But a good youth, man, otherwise. If you shake up your face, you know, because you have a little bit of a baby, you have a baby, mother, and a little child, see him, you know, see me? So, if you don't know, I never, never could have recovered, I never, can't, I never know, sometimes I never know what, how he said he really do a thing like that. You see know, me? When him daddy see him, and him man, him daddy, they are the reason, daddy, that tell him, say, him come. And me, daddy and daddy are telling me to go in. You see me? So, so what, what he said took place? You know, so for real, him say, I know him really do it, do it. And that he said, he not really do it. And, you see me? So, daddy, I said, then, all right, in case, like what you say, I know you really do it, then go on in then and go prove yourself to, 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 to the police then. You see me? And little bit after that, he made it have a liar. I am Virgin and show him and him say, he might go get the police and, and come pick him up. The house was rent by his partner, the brother, the soldier, the soldier who is along with the brother. And the brother, that case, the brother, okay. so the brother leave the house to them. To them. Oh. And they, they, they uh, we call it, we call it simply like they are a very good people, very nice group. But even Monday, she was up by the construction, carrying on up there. She do a little job in the morning by selling little liquor and things like that. So Monday evening now, she come down. I go to my bed Monday, leave me really up here. I wake up about. 10 to 11 o'clock. I don't know direct, but we put it right in between the two. 10 to 11. Turn off the radio. When we turn off the radio, I still hear a little talking over the house. No dispute talking. But you know what you should do a little juggling thing. And she has will have, no matter how late, she has will have somebody over there. For them come and drink them little liquor. So, we go back and lay down. I'm in the past. 
I mean, never wait until after five till the five. We get up and we come out of the house. We take up a shovel and I see my go right out there and start to sleep some sand. And the next brother for the truck will come and we and go to the work. And the next guy, we are going to work and make him come and have a son. Chair was there. The brother comes when he come here and he go over there. And he go over there and he come back out and say, I'm calling his sister. I'm calling him right and he know, he know hear him. And he go way back. And after he go way back, he go away, he come back. And when he come back, he go over there. And he said, start to knock. The time he did see the sun, he went to him and knock and he no hear no nice things at him. And no hear nobody. So I know a good spirit in him. He, he go round the house and go on at the back. When he go on at the back, he find the back door broken. And when he went inside, a pure dead people in front of Pure dead people in front of him. So he come back home and tell me, say, and talk to me and say, be a dead people over right there, be a everybody dead half over there. And when we go and step inside of the house, we go straight in and we go to the, the back room, the front of the kitchen that you're going to turn into the back room. And when we look, we see the big daughter lay down straight out on her bed. And we tell you, sir, I couldn't reach any further. We have to just turn back out. Did you know she and the cousin? You know, any arguments? No, and... sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I don't know of them in any affliction unless it is private affliction. I don't know how long he was living there. Yeah. What type of person? He proved, was... he, he, he proved to be a genuine person. But as far as it is, he is far from genuine towards him. He is was... far from genuine. If he passed you out, told him that he did. But he would call him. I don't care what I'm elder, what I'm elder, you understand? What I'm elder, you understand? He, he, go, he appears to be genuine, but what he has done here could be a genuine person. Yeah.